Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about how to do a three-way call with your mentor. And really what we're going to be talking about is not so much what you say on the call, but how to make the call run smoothly and what you need to do. So I want you to make sure that you have pen and paper to take some notes because this is very important. This is going to be like really nuts and bolts kind of stuff, step-by-step -step kind of stuff. So I want to make sure that you write this down. If you get it down the first time, then you're not going to have to come back and rewrite it later. So First thing is, you know, like I talked about in one of the previous videos, this is one of the quickest ways to get your prospect in front of your mentor. It shouldn't take very long. If your mentor knows what they're doing, they should be able to get this done in 15, maybe 20 minutes. Okay, you don't want it to take much longer than that. It's meant to be quick. If they're not ready to go, your mentor should know that within about 15 minutes. And really, this should just be a chance for them to tee up the next exposure like we talked about. Now, to run the three-way call, here's what you're going to do. First of all, Number one, make sure you know how to do a three-way call on your phone, okay? It's going to be best if you're the one calling your prospect because they're going to recognize your number. So you need to make sure that you know how to do this. Now, if you have a smartphone, iPhone, Android, whatever, it's pretty easy to do. Usually, once you're on the phone, you can just click Add Call, but make sure that you do practice it if you've never done it before. Practice it because you need to know how it works. So, like, pick a friend or practice it with your mentor or someone on your team and just try it just to make sure it goes smoothly because you want to be professional and the last thing you want is to be having like technical difficulties while you're trying to get your person on the phone. It's going to frustrate you. It's going to frustrate your mentor. It's going to frustrate your prospect. So practice it a few times, okay? Now, next thing, when it comes time to do the call, make sure that you're confirming the call with your prospect and with your mentor, okay? Make sure that you confirm. So um, I do that all pretty much through texting, okay? So, you know, I mean, that's just mostly who I communicate with. Now, if you're not a texter, you know, maybe you're in a, a, a different generation or you're in an area or a community or network or whatever that you don't really do a lot of texting, that's fine. Whatever you would normally do to confirm the call, make sure you do it, okay? Now, again, you're going to be doing this call ideally within 24 to 48 hours of having talked to your prospect, but make sure that you confirm, okay? So, you know, they go through the invite process, they watch the video, they're messaging you back with questions, okay? You want to get them on the phone, ideally, right then and there, uh, or you want to get them to an event later that day or the next day, okay, that's ideal. And so, like, let's say, you know, yeah, if you can get them on the phone right there, great, then you don't really need to confirm. But if your meeting is going to be or your phone call is going to be the next day, or maybe 48 hours later, maybe that's really the soonest you can do, just depending on the situation, hopefully not. Um, but if it is the next day, one of the first things you should do in the morning when you wake up is send them a text. Hey, looking forward to talking to you at one o'clock. See you then. You know, just something simple. Just confirm. Make sure it's on their radar. And then a few minutes before the call, I like to let them know, you know, maybe like 10, 15 minutes. I say, hey, are you about ready for the call? You know, just remind them, remember, this isn't their top priority. It's your top priority, okay? this They have a lot of other things going on. They're considering whether they want to make this a priority in their life, okay? You have already decided to make it a priority. So it's on you to make sure that you confirm with them and make sure that they show up ready for the call, okay? Now, the other thing is you want to make sure that you confirm with your mentor, okay? Granted, your mentor hopefully is responsible. I mean, if they made it all the way to gold or diamond or above, they're probably pretty responsible and pretty good at managing their time. But everybody gets busy. Everybody has stuff happen. It's always good to make sure that you keep it on their radar, okay? That's like the super duper A plus gold star thing to do is, you know, make sure you text your prospect, say, hey, looking forward to talking to you at one, and then let your mentor know, hey, Hey, so and so is going to be ready at, ready at one. We're still on for the call. Let them let your mentor know that your prospect is confirmed. Okay, I, like I'm busy. I got a lot going on. I could book a lot of different appointments and different things into my schedule. So for me, it's very helpful to know. Okay, my one o'clock. That's confirmed. That's set. I shouldn't have to text your prospect. I shouldn't have to text you to remind you to confirm, okay? I certainly don't want to get to one o'clock and not know whether or not that person's confirmed. And, you know, in reality, the way I manage my time, I'm going to be texting you first thing in the morning saying, hey, are we still on for one o'clock? And can you confirm with your prospect, right? I'm going to be making sure that you do that. But A plus gold star for you if you're one step ahead of me 
and you're already letting me know that that person's confirmed, okay? So it doesn't have to take a ton of time, doesn't have to be like anything crazy, but just text them, make sure that you're in touch with them or email them or call them real quick or whatever, just to make sure that it is confirmed, okay? And let your mentor know that it's confirmed. Let, let your mentor know if for some reason you're not hearing back, okay? If you text your prospect and you're not hearing back, let your mentor know because they might be able to do something else with that time if your person's gonna flake. Or, you know, if you need to reschedule, let your mentor know, right? away. You know what I mean? Don't leave it to the last minute and be like, oh yeah, sorry. Yeah. They texted me a couple hours ago and said they couldn't, they had to cancel. Don't do that. Your mentor is going to be really upset. I'll be upset. You know, don't waste my time. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your prospects time. Make sure everybody's ready for the call. Remember, this is your business. This is your prospect. And therefore it's your responsibility to make sure everybody shows up on time and is ready to go. And it's up to you to make sure that you respect your mentor's time by, you know, not forgetting to like reschedule things and things like that. Okay. So that's the next most important thing. Make sure everybody's ready and confirmed. Now, when it comes time for the call, ping your mentor. Okay. Ping them and say, Hey, we're ready. Uh, are you ready? Whatever. And then you're going to be getting on the line with your mentor first. Okay. Don't call your prospect and then your mentor. You need to get on with your mentor first. Your mentor is just going to check and make sure that you have everything ready. And most importantly, your mentor is going to ask a little bit about this person. Who is this person? What's their background? How do you know them? Why did you think of them? What have you showed them already? What video have you showed them, right? It's helpful for your mentor to go into it with a little bit of knowledge of what's going on with this person and where they're at in the process, okay? So get on the line with your mentor. You'll chat for maybe one or two minutes, and then you're going to three-way on your prospect, okay? And you want to make sure, make a note of this, when you three-way them on, you need to merge the call right away. Okay, so get on with your mentor first. They're going to tell you when it's time, and then you're going to call your prospect, and then you need to merge the call right away, okay? Don't make it to where, like, you're sitting there chit-chatting with your prospect, and your mentor's sitting there on hold, like, all right, what's going on? Hello? Okay, merge the call so your mentor can hear what's happening. They, they need to hear your prospect, okay? Now, once you're all connected and everybody's on, okay, everybody can hear each other. You say, hello, hello. Make sure you tell your prospect right away, hey, Joe, um, thanks for taking the time. I just want to let you know I have my friend Crystal here on the phone. She's the one teaching me about this business, and she's going to help explain everything and answer your questions. So, Crystal, this is Joe. Joe, this is Crystal. Just like that, okay? So, hey, I have my friend, okay, my friend, you could say mentor, I guess, but I think friend is a little better, okay, and their name, and they're going to help explain everything. Now, you should edify your mentor, okay, make a note of that. If you haven't already told your prospect who your mentor is, edify them. Your prospect needs to know who this person is and why they should care. You know, why should I listen to this person? Let them know and help build some rapport. If your prospect and your mentor have something in common, let them know, hey, you guys are actually both from California, you know, or hey, um, yeah, oh, you're you're into this one hobby. Well, so is my mentor, you know, build, help build that rapport. You know, it's just like being at a cocktail party, you know, when you introduce people, the right way to do it is be like, hey, Joe, I'd like you to meet my friend, Crystal. Crystal, this is Joe. Joe works at such and such and he does this, blah, blah, blah. And Crystal works at such and such place. She's from wherever. Now, all of a sudden, we have, we know each other and we're like, and I can be like, oh, you work at such and such. I know someone that works there, right? Do that when you get people on the phone. Make a proper introduction so that we know what's going on and it feels comfortable for everyone. That's your responsibility to make us feel comfortable. Don't just be like, Joe is Crystal. Crystal is Joe. I mean, you could do that. If your mentor is any good, they'll be able to roll with it anyway. Like, I can roll with it anyway. That's fine. But it's better if you can create a little context and edify the mentor a little bit, okay? So then once that happens, once everybody's connected and your prospect's introduced and you're all on the phone, happy and excited, then you're just going to be quiet. You are going to hit mute. You are going to listen and you are going to take notes. You are not going to interrupt your mentor. Your mentor is going to take it from there and you just have to trust that they know what they're doing and you're not going to interject no matter how badly you might think you have your two cents you want to add. You're not going to say anything. There's a couple reasons for this. Number one, your mentor might not be saying those things for a reason. You might think you want to say it, but they might know that it's better not to say it. I don't know what it might be, but they might have a reason that they didn't say it, okay? Next, if you interrupt your mentor 
then you erode the respect that your prospect has for your mentor. Suddenly they're like, well, why should I respect this person? So just zip it. Okay, don't say anything. You can talk to your mentor afterwards. Okay, you can pipe in your two cents afterwards, but you need to let your mentor do their thing. Give your full undivided attention to them. Trust them. Observe them. Take notes on what they're saying and what they're doing on that call. And your mentor is going to take it from there. Okay, so that's basically it. All right, make sure you know how to do a three-way call. Practice it. Okay, make sure everybody's confirmed for the call. All right, that's your responsibility. Get on the line with your mentor first. You're going to chat a little bit about your prospect just for a minute, maybe literally like one minute, like 60 seconds. Then you're going to three-way on the prospect, okay? Merge the call immediately and then introduce your prospect to your mentor and make sure that you say a little bit of something about each person so that you create some rapport and some common ground, but also so that you transfer some respect so that your prospect will listen to and respect what your mentor has to say, okay? Um, I'll talk about edifying in another training, but make sure that you do that. And then after that, you're just going to let your mentor take it away. Hit mute, take notes, and that's that. That's how you do a three-way call, okay? So again, you don't need to know what to say. Your mentor's going to handle all that. I'll teach you how to answer questions and what to do as far as leading the three-way call in another training. That's an advanced training. But for now, all you need to know is how to get people there and how to make it go smoothly. Okay, so that's it for now. Make sure you come back and watch this again if there's anything you missed or any questions you might have. And then we'll look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Bye for now.